Hello everyone and welcome back to another Dr. Petrol video. Calling a car an appliance is an insult to us petrol heads, but to many people that's just what a car is. It's a tool to bring it from A to B, an appliance. And in fact, there's many, many examples of car manufacturers producing appliances as well as appliance makers producing cars. Just think of Mitsubishi's vacuum cleaners, Toyota sewing machines and Honda's lawnmowers for examples of automotive firms manufacturing appliances. But there have also been appliance makers dabbling in producing cars. Dyson for a while played with the idea of producing electric cars and in the 1960s Australian washing machine manufacturer Lightburn briefly built a ute and even Samsung nowadays produces rebatch Renaults for the Korean market. So whether you like it or not, cars and appliances have always been closely related and over the years we've seen a number of appliances make it into cars. Like for instance a TV, a telephone, a fridge. Some of these appliances are quite common in cars now, but here are six cars with highly unusual and unexpected appliances from the factory. For our first example, we are traveling back to 1939, when Horsch, most widely known for being one of the founding brands that later became Audi, introduced the 930S Streamline. This was destined to be one of their flagship cars and featured a unique and never again seen swing out sink, including a cold and a hot tap. The sink folds out from the front fender just behind the rear wheel. The water, which is held in a two compartment tank of about 11 liters under the hood, is heated by exhaust gases passing through a spiral pipe. The water that is caught in the basin automatically empties when you fold away the sink again. Now nobody really knows why the car had this unique feature. It's a feature you'd expect on a camper van, but not on a luxury sedan. Was it to be able to wash your hands on the side of the road after fixing your car after every breakdown? Or was it to be able to make a drink on the road or to wash your hands after a picnic? I guess we'll never know. Now the second car on the list you ought to see to believe. It has super unexpected appliance and it is the 2014 Honda Odyssey minivan. Minivans are often referred to as multi-purpose vehicles in Europe and the 2014 Odyssey takes that quite literally because it is also a vacuum cleaner. Or rather, Honda built in a vacuum cleaner in the boot of the car if you got the top trim EXL Touring Elite version. It includes a 4.8 meter long hose and various nozzles so you can reach every nook and cranny of this family car after your kids, dogs or travel companions have made a terrible mess again. Unlike the washbowl of the Horch, this actually makes perfect sense. The vacuum cleaner runs for 8 minutes off the Odyssey's car battery or for however long you want when the engine is running and includes a replaceable filter and canister bag for easy garbage disposal. This way you can make every journey into an Odyssey of attempted cleanliness. Right, after that dubious joke, we'll move on to the third quirky wonder of the list, the 1984 Toyota Fan. Dull name you say? Yep, dull name. They call it the Space Cruiser in Europe, which wasn't much better. However, it did come with a cool feature, an optional shoebox sized ice maker. Come to think of it, that's actually literally a cool feature. It was basically a refrigerator cooled by air conditioning refrigerant lines, which isn't all that uncommon, but Toyota decided to add the possibility of making ice cubes with its spill-proof ice trays. Unique, but apparently not a huge success because the fan's successor, the Previa, lost this option. Moving on to slightly hotter terrain then, with the Fiat 500L. Naturally, this list had to include an Italian car. If Italy had a middle name, it would probably be quirky. The Fiat 500L offered an optional in-car espresso machine, specially developed by famous Italian coffee maker Lavazza. The compact Amodo Mio, which translates to My Way, clicks into a 12-volt powered cup holder between the front seats. It uses pre-packaged coffee pots to create one piping hot cup of espresso at a time. Despite looking like a glorified flask, this is actually quite a handy little addition for those that spend lots of time on the road. Not that you'd want to spend lots of time on the road in a Fiat 500L. Speaking of cars that you probably don't want to spend too much time in, the first gen Honda CRV is next up on our list with another rather unique feature that you'd expect in a house or perhaps a camper fan, but not in a car. The CRV's accessories list offered a shower, yes, a shower. It plugs into the 12 volt socket in the boot of the CRV and was undoubtedly added to promote the outdoorsy character of the CRV with the brochure stating it can be used to hose down muddy boots. Not much of a shower then, but more of a hose, although it did come with a proper shower head and attachment point to the trunk lid. I hope the people taking the option box in this one like their showers cold though, because warm water wasn't an option. I guess Honda hadn't heard of the Horch 930S and its exhaust gas powered hot water tap. Lacking as well was a privacy curtain, so yeah, perhaps calling this a shower was a bit ambitious of Honda. Another car that could have done with privacy curtains was the 1954 Rolls-Royce Silver Wraith long wheelbase special saloon with coachwork by Vignale. 
If you think this classic Rolls Royce looks special on the outside, wait till you see the inside. This was the ultimate in British luxury in the 50s. Not only did it have air conditioning, a bar, a radio, a television, it also featured a gold painted toilet. I shit you not. This roller had a toilet hidden underneath the right rear passenger seat. The owner of the car always claimed it was merely used as a champagne cooler, but let's be honest, drinking all that alcohol necessitates the proximity of a loo as well, so I doubt this has never been used for the occasional number one. If the Silver Wraith was the ultimate in British luxury in the 50s, the Cadillac Eldorado Brahon was the ultimate of American luxury in that same glorious era. It was more commonly known as the Frank Sinatra car as he owned two of these. And Sinatra may well have been lured into purchasing two of these cars by what the glove box held in store. You see, Sinatra was known for his love of a drink, and the Eldorado Brahon had a full minibar in the glove box. This minibar in full hotel style came equipped with four steel magnetized cups so that they would stay attached to the fold down tray, as well as a complimentary bottle of booze. It also held a women's grooming kit, a comb, cigarette case, a matching notebook, and an atomized filler with perfume. Safe to say, drink driving wasn't much of an issue back then. And with that, we've come to the end of the list of obscure features in cars. Now, imagine a car with all these options. You take an ice cold, privacy deprived shower at the back of your car in the morning, fill your Lavazza coffee maker with water from your swing out sink, make some ice to drop an ice cube in your steaming hot coffee, and grab a little something from your glove box mini bar to spice up your coffee. And if you spill anything while making coffee, your vacuum cleaner is there to help clean up, and the toilet is within reach if the coffee works a little too quickly on your bowels. Wouldn't that be something? Thank you so much for watching. I wonder, what appliance would you like to see in your car? What appliance do you think would complement your car perfectly? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll catch you at the next Dr. Petro video.